Hi everyone. Hi everybody. In today's video, we are going to be swatching these seven colors that I just recently got, uh, cause these were the only colors that I didn't have. And we're going to compare a few of them because the other ones, I don't have anything similar, but um, these ones look kind of similar. So we're gonna compare them to these three. So you can see. Yes? All yes. Right. Okay. Let's and of get course, started. these are SC Expressi. So five and the, these ones. Are you excited about these ones? No. <laughs> All right, so let's start with uh, Crave the Chaos. You know what? I really like SC, uh, how they have the names on the top. Yes, that makes things a lot easier. Yeah, then turning around. Mm hmm all right so let's uh let's see um i actually checked how the polishes look on a few of my nails and i have to say i'm excited so se expressi doesn't need base coat it doesn't need a top coat um, i think that's awesome yeah it is and it's a quick drying polish oh that's very nice but we actually have tried this um, polish with the clear coat, which is actually not a top coat, but it's a clear coat and it wore really, really well. Mm -hmm. So actually in the next video, probably we're gonna do like a watch me work kind of video with this color. It's called Binge Worthy. And we're gonna, on one hand, apply a base coat with this. And on the other hand, we're gonna do two coats of this and a top coat. Cause I wanted to see which color Sorry, which makes it long last longer? Oh my god, confusing. I probably confused everyone by now, but that's okay. Well, you can just watch me. the video. Second hand, first love. So the brushes are kind of curved. Wow, fast it's already I know. Impressive. The brushes are kind of curved on purpose. They're supposed to be easier to polish this way, like if so you're you polishing your yourself. nails. Yeah. yeah, but I wouldn't kind of say that. Oh. I just love that it doesn't have a base top coat and a top coat. Just me personally, I'm yeah, I'm impatient, and having to sit through base coat, two coats of the product, a top coat, like holy crap! Yeah, the, some of them though don't, don't have a good shine. So, uh, yeah. party mix and match. So I tend to like the brush this way. So how's the fundraiser going? Um, yes, so we're doing a fundraiser for the Galagos in Spain, which are um, kind of like a greyhounds. So we are currently at like $375. Oh, this is a very good application. Thank you to everybody who has yeah, donated. Yeah, thank you we so much. We really appreciate so it. So we're trying to raise uh, $1,000. And uh, once we do that, um, he's going to wear like a bright pink, kind of like this manicure all week. Yeah, not yeah, this one exactly, but maybe probably something, something brighter. Something yeah. brighter. I want something very bright and, and like so bright it's obnoxious. Yeah. This one is called Not So Low Key. And I was actually uh, excited about this color. Let's see how this one goes. What are you doing? There was this piece of skin, cuticle there. Stuck. Oh. Yeah. Not so low key. Let's see how this one goes. So the first coat I always go kind of thinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a cooler kind of a berry dark color. Very dark. Very dark. Very dark. This is uh, IRL. In real life. Oh. Uh-huh. Sorry, I was having apparently an old moment mm -hmm. where I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> oh, this is a little wonky, this brush. I don't, I mean, I like the brushes. You kind of get used to them, but they're not like ideal to use them on clients, on yourself maybe. But I mean, a million times better than those skinny little brushes that are useless. All right. Okay, so let's see the next hand. 
let's go with the green. It is express to impress. Actually, maybe I do like that color. It looks like, uh... Yep. Seafoam green. Yeah, yeah. Fender Stratocaster. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. uh, taxi Hopping. So this one is an interesting color. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a yellowish, mm. but greenish kind I've of... I've Telecasters in that color, so maybe and I really like it. Yeah. Mm. It's kind of like an ugly yellow. But, yeah, I know. Uh, Telecasters but it's kind of cool. Well. Yeah. You know? Like a mustardy, mm -hmm. poopy kind of Mustardy, yellow. poopy. Yeah, well like baby's done. poo, kind of, a little bit. Do you even know what baby no, I don't. poop looks like? <laughs> but I can imagine. All right, so let's just compare the um, the the second one to uh, the checked into the second hand first lock or second yeah. So it, let's it, just it, see. It. This one has a shimmer, and this is the one that doesn't have such a good shine. So I find this one needed a uh, top, top coat for sure, but it has a very good application. We'll kind of judge after two coats, maybe. Yes. Now, we're going to compare the Party Mix and Match to Trend and Snap. This one also has a little bit of shimmer. Okay, so this one has almost like a glittery shimmer. This one has barely visible kind of shimmer. And now we're going to compare the breaking the bald with not so low key. And this also has a shimmer. That's interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. So we're comparing the shimmers to non-shimmers. All right, mm -hmm. and let's go with the second coat. This is kind of like a candy pink. Oh, don't move. Sorry. It's very candy-like. Mm -hmm. uh, second hand first love so the second coat what I do is I apply it a little bit thicker with a much lighter touch mm -hmm. oh that's nice um, so I think they have a new collection. There's some really cool colors in the new collection, but it's not available yet. Party mix and match. So once I I get it, then um, I'll definitely swatch it. The other way. Yeah, I have to say I'm really liking the mm -hmm. And also we got at the, uh, just the other day at, at the drugstore, uh, some more regular Essie and there's some really good formulas in Essie and really good colors. I have to say I'm kind of liking Essie more and more. Not so low key.
And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button if you haven't already. Um, go check out our Patreon. We should have some links for that down in the doobly doo. Yeah, watch me work videos. Yep. You know what? Let me just say something. This is excellent. It's a perfect color because it's not too dark and it's not too light. So it looks like a really dark, dark red, but it doesn't look black. Like you can see, this is really, really good. It's kind of like a brownish red. Yeah, which is funny because on the first coat, you could see more of the kind of a berry undertone and the mm -hmm. second coat really, it's a really, really good color. Yeah. And it's um, easy, quite easy to apply. The formula is really good. Mm -hmm. So yes, Patreon, there is some Watch Me Work videos, although uh, I have some videos that I can edit still from Watch Me Work, but right now, sadly, we are in a lockdown. So no clients, sadly, very sadly. Yeah. So if you would like to, guys, support this channel, because uh, it would be much, much appreciated. You can do that through Patreon, but also you can support us through just watching the the, the ads because yeah. that's how we make money from the ads. We well, don't have to watch them. Just, well, don't, just, just don't skip them. Yeah, don't just, skip them. Yeah. Just let it run. Go grab a cup of coffee, a glass of water. Go to the bathroom while the, the, the commercial. Do some push-ups or something. Yeah, that's good for you too. There you go. Yeah. Do some jumping jacks. Yeah. Yeah, because that's how we. Uh, make yeah. money from the ads playing yeah. and trust me i don't like the ads any more than anybody else but uh, trying to support even uh, yeah. my favorite channels i do the same thing i let them run mm -hmm. and uh you know just my way of trying to help support and making sure to uh, hit that thumbs up button yeah subscribe, it really helps etc etc of course, I don't hit the thumbs down button just because I think that that's just in poor taste. And, poor taste. Yeah. Something that I don't like, I just don't watch it. Okay, this is really, really nice. The formula is excellent on this one as well. Taxi hopping. That is just like such an ugly yellow. I know. But it's, but it's, it's it really works. cool. Yeah. It's, it's a vintage color. Yeah, it is. It is. So in a moment, we're going to compare it, these colors to the previous ones. Yeah, so we actually got a pretty good wear um, on, when we did two coats of this without a base coat with the clear one. But without, um, so just the two coats, it doesn't really last that long. So. You know, it's a quick drying, but not a long lasting polish. Mm -hmm. I used it on a couple of my clients and they were like, not too impressed. But again, you know, I'm trying to be kind of open-minded. Okay, this is very, very good coverage here. Because not everybody is, people that come to the salon obviously are interested in a long lasting polish. And so that was not really the case, but you know, for kind of an everyday person, if you want to do like just two quick coats of polish. So a lot of people don't care that it doesn't last a week or so. Right? Right. Right. Okay, so. Let's just kind of uh, do this quick uh, dry test, see how long it takes for them to dry. Okay, so, yeah, let's just see these two. Yeah. With them. Mm -hmm. And down a little bit. Not even close. Yeah, not close. I mean, obviously. In the bottle, they look similar, but yeah. on the nail, you can definitely see there I are love some this one. major this is differences. Classic, classic. All right, so let's now, without smudging them. Without right? smudging. Mm -hmm. More in the middle. Okay, different too, yeah, obviously. Those ones are different and... and they look so similar in a bottle. Oh my God. Yeah, this is close, very close, but this is lighter. I actually like this one better. I have to say this one is more muted and more warmer. This is a little bit cooler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so let's just see. This is pretty dry. 
So we're gonna give it five minutes and we'll be right back to just show you how the shine is on these polishes. Okay, it's been six minutes. Um, and let's see how the nails are looking. You know, it's, they're pretty dry. Like I'm putting pressure. Obviously they could, like if you really scratch them, they would dent or scratch, but they are, yeah, the shine is not amazing, I have to say. Like it needs something, it needs a top coat. I love this color, by the way. Mm. It needs something. So the least shiny is this one, that has that little bit of shimmer, mm -hmm. and this one as well. Let's see this one. Yeah, this one also would be good with a top coat. But you know, if you're on the go and you want like a quick manicure, then... A quick polish change yeah. kind of thing, this would be it. Yeah, this would be it. Yep. So it's been seven minutes and yep, I think with some oil, they would look very good. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so in the next video, we are going to be, um, actually in the next video, we're going to be doing um, gel polish by Essie. Swatching some colors. Look at this beautiful one. <gasps> I love this one. Anyway, and then after that, we're going to be doing a manicure with this one testing the different top coats and base coat and stuff. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and we will see you soon. Bye. Ciao.